if I stare hard enough at the light. We've all done it, haven't we? Well, you're looking and you're thinking, is it moving? Is it a fish? And you, you don't blink for like three minutes. Right, hello, welcome back to Fish and Hinny. Um, I haven't got my mics with us today, so I'm just doing it to the camera with the, the built-in mic, so I apologise if the sound's not great. I've came up to uh, one of my favourite rock marks. It was awful weather earlier on. It's sorted itself out now. Sunny skies, there's a bit of a sea running. There's been, um, there's been northerly winds for about the past 10 hours, but they're just busy swinging around westerly. So the sea's going to flatten right off. So I thought I'd take a chance, see if I can catch some fish because I haven't caught anything for ages for years. Um, it's nice to be out. I've just chucked in my first bait, squid and cart, and just wait to see, see what's out there. It's pretty rough. Well, it, it, it sounds pretty rough, but it's not too bad actually. It's, um, I'm up on this, this ledge up here, so pretty safe. There is swell coming in, but it's breaking over there, so it's not coming right up to here. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty safe here. There's somebody else fishing just up there as well, so I've got a bit of company. I'm not by myself. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. First bites of today, so there's definitely fish around. I've just settled the rod back down and I'm just going to leave it out for a bit. See if it comes back. I'm going to keep the baits pretty fresh, so I'll give each one half an hour and then I'll swap it for a new bait. Um, just try and keep the scent like big and fresh in the water. But what I'm going to do is first chuck a hoid over that way and I'm just going to kind of bring it round on each each um, cast just to try and cover a, a, bit, a bit extra ground. You don't need to cast far here because it's quite deep close in. So just a little a little lob of about 50 60 yards does it. So tackle wise I'll show you what I'm using. I've just got like a single hook flat bar rig that's um, 50 pound hook snood. I've got a 60 pound sinker line so I put my lead with a 6 ounce on the bottom because it is a bit rough um, I've got crimp bead swivel bead so that just hangs freely off the side like that so that's the bait squid filled with cart and wrap it nice and tight 4 on the bottom and a little 2 circle hook on the top
jobber brought it in. My hook has disappeared. It snapped. Maybe it was when I first struck in, like when I was getting bites before and I struck into it. It must have caught against the rock or something, so yeah. A hook on the end of it might help a bit, do you think? No wonder it didn't come back. It could well still be hooked on the hook. Because it was um it was still biting as I got into it. Right, fresh bait. I'm staying well back from the edge and I'm not going on the wet rocks because of yet if the rocks are wet it's really slippy. So I'm just being very cautious. Right, so it's just gone over high water and the tide's starting to go out. So that should pick the current up, hopefully bring the fish on. I've got um, a couple of sticks of cart and I've got half a dozen um, squid as well. Is that little mux there? Yeah, I thought there might have been little knocks on it. Right. I'll get another bait set up ready so we can just keep swapping the baits out and having as much having as much um, time in the water as possible. I've spent the last 10 minutes making up some um, some cart wraps. I've now got four of them, so that's the wraps and then squid heads here. So time-wise it's 20 past five. So the tide should be starting to, to run a bit properly now. Let's hope that improves the fishing. I might have just had some bites there when I was mucking around with the camera. It's always the same, isn't it? Except staring at your rod for ages and nothing happens. And then you, you look away, or you, you start to do something else and your rod goes bang, bang, bang. Right, time for a bait change. Right, I'm not having much luck today, am I? So, second cast, I got stuck and I've lost pretty much everything. The hook, the weight, all I've got left is uh, the weight line. So I'll get that swapped over. That's what I'm putting on. Nice big bait. It's not usually that bad here for tackle loss. It's just bad luck, I guess. But third time lucky. This might be the lucky cast. Right, keep your fingers crossed for us this time. It'd be nice to get a fish. It'd be nice to not lose any tackle. Bites on the rod.
the water's getting too far down here that um, I've got to go and slip my rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top up here. So I'm just going to move all my gear and I'll bring you back. Right, that's me in a new spot now. So I've moved up because that's where I was, kind of back there. Um, and I was having to walk down to there. And stay on the dry rocks, but as you can see, the water is much further down. So I'm at a higher, higher point now. So the water's just off the side here. So I'll, I'll have no trouble, no trouble winding in now. And I think I might just bring that in and put another fresh bait on because I had some bites before but it hasn't developed in anything but the line does seem to have dragged right around across there and ideally I want it to just straight straight out so I'll chuck another bait on I'll get the lights on as well and uh, let's hope for a fish pretty washed out so we'll get that changed oh, you know what I forgot to do I forgot to poke loads of holes in the um, squid I think I poked one or two in but ideally I should have put lots in It'll be nice to catch something tonight. I've been out fishing a few times lately. And um, just with a little light gear. And I've caught little ones, but nothing really to do a video. So I'm kind of hoping that tonight I might get, even if it's just a pound or something like that, that would do it. I'll get myself warmed up a bit with this coffee and then I'll bait up another bait. Come on, Mr. Fish. Give me a bite. Do you ever get the feeling that all the fish have buggered off? And you're sitting on a rock, fishing for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> with no hope of catching a fish. It feels a bit like that tonight. A couple of bites earlier on, but nothing since then. I'm gonna, um, bring this in and stick a fresh bait on and I'm going to cast it a little bit closer so just kind of off the side about 20 yards out 30 yards out see if that makes any difference because the fish might be closer in just had some bites about time to They looked a bit like coley bites though. I don't think it was the cod. But I'll take anything. Coley, Rockland, Flatty, anything will do. Yeah, so bite it. Little bits.
uh, there's nothing there. I think it was just callies or something like that because um, the baits, yeah, it's pretty much stripped down. So the fishing's been really poor. I don't think other people are having much luck either. But it's that time of year, isn't it? I'm just waiting for the the lure fishing to come on so I can start doing some of that. And um, I'll get away in the tent as well, do a, a couple of nights, hopefully next month. Go somewhere different, different scenery, different place. really special about night fishing. It's just a different kind of atmosphere altogether. Especially somewhere like this where you're in the middle of nowhere. And it's just it's just black. Out to the left, out to sea, there's no hint of light anywhere. And to the right up the sea you can see some light in the sky. Not a huge amount. It's almost black now. But yeah, it's just lovely kind of not not a spooky atmosphere, just kind of peaceful, if that makes sense. If I stare hard enough at the light, we've all done it, haven't we? Well you're looking and you're thinking, is it moving? Is it a fish? And you you don't blink for like three minutes. It's harder when it's dark like this as well because sometimes it looks sometimes it looks like it's moving but it's actually not. It's just an, an optical illusion. Yeah I'm rabbiting on now isn't I? Can you tell I'm bored? Not bored just uh, what's the word? I don't know. I'm not bored. I enjoy myself, but it would be nicer with some pisky and friends to join me. Hello, Mr. Fish. Would you like a little bite to eat? Right, well that's a bit of a novelty, getting all my gear back. Yeah, it's been tough on the tackle, and it's been a tough night's fishing, with not much happening. But, like I say, you can't catch all the time. I've had fun, I've enjoyed myself. Um, I'll probably not come back here um, until lure fishing starts, and I'll be doing a bit of float fishing and a bit of lure fishing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll post this video because it doesn't matter if it's a blank. I want to say it's the reality of fishing, isn't it? 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, not for want of trying. I tried my hardest for years. Um, but I haven't managed it. So yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for all your support. And I'll see you again in the next video, hopefully with some fish. Cheers.